What's up guys, West Texas Hunting Guys here, Michael and Brandon, excited to come to you with a story of redemption. This is actually um, a really fun video. Uh, well, my, it's fun after the fact, my it's not friend, fun, fun during. My good friend Michael here um, has been itching to get out on a bow hog hunt, um, and we finally got an opportunity. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So follow along with us on this one. You're not gonna wanna miss like three different uh, situations here so don't don't you go fast forward and you're gonna miss something it, good. it is a story of redemption so follow along for good times and low times better people all right the exciting part was that we were um, starting to see a few uh, groups of daytime hogs one hog in particular so we were we got out there just in the right right time right amount of time I guess um, well, the good thing is that is they had been daytime, which has been good because so often it's it's dark and you know it, it's just a little trickier. Right, right. So, uh, anyways, got out there in plenty of time for us to to get on the daytime sit and um, and you know obviously got to watch some deer come in that sort of thing to start with. We got set up and almost immediately deer show up because we are stealth mode ninjas. No? <laughs> yeah. The cool thing was, though, shortly after the deer show up, right before dusk, in rolls the pig that we were looking for. So, Michael's been looking at, on the trail cam, um, this one big old spotted hog. And, and as luck would have it, the fates aligned, and this big old hog rolls right in. Look, the normal thing that happens when these pigs roll in is is, and I think a lot of people ask us these questions, is like, why does it take you guys so long to shoot? First off, this is gonna be, we've gotta get them into a right position for a good, clean uh, bow kill. Yeah. And uh, and this is gonna be my first time to get a bow kill. So, of course, I had the Jimmy hand, <laughs> as it were, as I'm getting ready, and, 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 and I've got Brandon. Brandon's trying to make sure he gets, gets a good setup for this video, and the hog gets in the right position, and I'm over there just shaking, just wet, you well, know, ready I told to go. Him. Like right as this hog comes in, as you can see right here, right as the hog comes in, I'm like, grab your bow, get your, <laughs> get your bow. He's like, what? I'm like, get your bow. Because otherwise I wouldn't have known to get my bow. <laughs> well, I just tell him to get ready, <laughs> but I think I rushed him. So here it is. Happen to be on a miss, so that's neat. <laughs> well, you can't hit them all. I'd like to hit something though, but but you can't hit them all. What kind of uh, blood is it? Lung blood? <laughs> oh, it's best to not talk about that. <clears throat> but look, like I said at the beginning, 
Just gotta let him grow a little bit, you know? Yeah, that was a pretty small one. I bet he was only probably 200. I mean, give it another year or two, and we'll be pushing four bills. You know what I'm I, saying? I mean, where's the fire? I can't. What's the hurry? That's a breeder, you know what I mean? <laughs> was that a breeder boar? Yeah, that's one that we're really wanting to breed. That's one of those stud boars. We might be able to sell that on the open market. Yeah, I'm gonna let him grow. <laughs> Good call. All right. Otherwise, I'd have shot him. <laughs> well, still no blood. <laughs> Didn't just dry up or something? Which is weird because you were kind of just like right over there. Give me a little light on myself here. Is that my blood or? Oops. Yeah, she'll buff out. I have blood on her regardless. Here's the thing, uh, practice makes perfect, so I need to practice a little bit more. And then I'll be perfect. Let that be a lesson. Yeah, let it be a lesson. Don't uh, don't trust yourself if you can't hit something. Hey, we'd be disingenuous if we only posted our kills. Hi, hi guys. Brandon here. I've been the camera guy. You should stay behind the camera. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, follow along for more hunting fun and hopefully success. All right, go get our stuff over there. All right, so obviously hunt one of the weekend didn't go super great. The old chin shot. Had good opportunity. I gave him a little chin music, though. Just a warning shot across the bow. I let him know that, that, that we meant business next time I was going to come A little out. shave job. <laughs> um, <laughs> so we got... Hunt two coming up a couple days later. Yeah. Um, and more opportunities to shoot. Hunt two for redemption. <laughs> Captain's log. Round two with the bow. I'm almost perfect now with my shot placement. <laughs> this will be a good test just to see where I'm at. How many times have you practiced since you missed that? <laughs> Thank you for asking. I don't want to brag, but I've got my grouping down to 12 inches. 12 inches, you say? So there's no telling what's going to happen. <laughs> no, just isn't. This is my shot at redemption, though. So, <clears throat> failure's not an option. I'm stronger for it. I think, right? Yeah, you're probably stronger.
right. Why I don't want to talk, talk about it. <laughs> why are you on the couch right now? Things have happened. Things have transpired. All right, so here's the situation. My friend Michael down here. It's too soon. It is too soon. So we got notification that there were hogs at the feeder. We've been waiting around all night. It's frigid. Um, there were two big, uh, probably two big sows and two piglets there at the feeder. So we hustle up. We run down there. Um, gear for days. Bundled up. Got the bow. Got an extra green light just in case. We get up and Michael draws back and his arrow pops out, well, pops no. off the knock. The, pro the problem was I was carrying my, I was carrying a flashlight and, and we were turning the corner and my arrow hit a branch of the cedar and I quickly was trying to put it back in because we were still walking up on the pigs. And apparently I didn't put it in good enough, like the knock into my D loop because when I drew, drew back, it slipped out. I caught it with my teeth. That actually is pretty impressive. He's like, he's like, all right, done. The arrow is out. I was, I was drawn back and the arrow was sliding and I, <laughs> I bit it <laughs> off Brandon. So I come and I pull it out of his mouth while he's drawn, put it back in the D loop. Then we're ready to go. Hogs come right back in after we hit a couple things because it's pitch black and it's also like 20 degrees. So he's still drawn back. They come right back in. He aims on it, shoots as you saw there. Bounces off the ground, shoots up in the air. Turns out it's because the the arrow up front had fallen off the rest, off the whisker biscuit, and was just hitting down instead of straight up bouncing the rest. So, no. Shortly, it's, shortly it's, thereafter, my friend Michael swore off ever shooting a bow again. So, he needs some encouragement. So, give your best advice for bow hunters in a bit of a slump to my friend Michael. The answer is be better. Because if there's anyone that deserves some encouragement and success, it's me. But if there's a second <laughs> person who wants it and needs it, it's Michael. So, just, just tell us in the comments how much you appreciate him. Michael, we all make mistakes. And we're, and we're better for it. So look, after after that last after that last hunt, my friend Michael here was in the depths of despair. It was a dark time. Like you saw, it was a dark time. Honestly, he was talking about uh, selling his bow, <laughs> um, <laughs> but sold the ranch almost. <laughs> sold the ranch, <laughs> but he came back stronger, and he's better for it. Um, and we got third times a charm, third opportunity on some hogs. Third time's a charm, except for I switched um, from a bow to a rifle. Had to make sure that I did it the right We this needed time. to put a hog down, and we could not have anything <clears throat> hitting that way. Actually, truthfully, can I say, like, for, for my own psyche, like, I had a case of the yips, as it were. The old and, uh, yips. And, and just really needed to get <laughs> what I felt like was some success back. Look, some, you're, some about to see, back. you're about to see Michael roll up on a about a dozen big old hogs and lay the hammer. Hunt number three of the video. <laughs> True redemption time. Redemption. Hog hunt.
pretty cool. So there it is, third time's a charm. All right. My dog MZ. Look, hog hanger dips Laying in. the hammer. Had a case of the yips, I'll come back even stronger. Like I said, I'm almost perfect. Are you gonna shoot him with a bow? I mean, there's no telling what'll happen later. I dare you guys to follow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like hog hunting? Yes. Do you like bow hunting? Sometimes. Sometimes. So, yeah. all right, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, like, uh, follow us on Instagram. We're over on the Instagrams, West Texas Hunting Guys. That's right. So, but subscribe, follow along. We'll have some more good, uh, good hunting videos that aren't aren't uh, <laughs> he'll do, three peats. He'll do better next time. He yeah, promises. I will do better. He promises it to you. I dare me to not do better. Than this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, y'all. See ya.